Like many Americans, a number of our presidents have been animal lovers. Their pets have roamed the White House halls for many years. One of these pets in particular belonged to Franklin Delano Roosevelt, our 32nd president. His name was Fowla, and this is his story. Sometimes people thought Fowler went too many places with the president, but Roosevelt always defended him. These Republican leaders are not in contempt with attacks on me, or on my wife, or on my sons. No, not content with that. They now include my little dog, Fowler. <laughs> You know, Fowler Scott, <laughs> and being a Scotty, as soon as he learned that the Republican fiction writers in Congress and out had concocted a story that I'd left him behind on an Aleutian Island <laughs> and had sent a destroyer back to find it at a cost to the taxpayers of two or three or eight or twenty million dollars, his spot soul was furious. <laughs> he had not been the same dog since. I think I have a right to resent to object to libelous statements about my dog. <laughs> President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The United States was at peace with that nation and at the solicitation of Japan was still in conversation with its government and its emperor looking toward the maintenance of peace in the Pacific. Indeed, one hour after Japanese air squadrons had commenced bombing in the American island of Oahu, the Japanese ambassador to the United States and his colleague delivered to our Secretary of State a formal reply to a recent American message. Japan has therefore undertaken a surprise offensive extending throughout the Pacific area. The facts of yesterday and today speak for themselves. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might 
will win through to absolute victory. With confidence in our armed forces, with the unbounding determination of our people, we will gain the inevitable triumph, so help us God. Ballot quickly became a celebrity. Even now, he is the only presidential pet honored with his own statue in Washington, D.C. The President's Official Home, American headquarters for leaders of the United Nations. Here Mr. Roosevelt lives, working long hours into the night. But when 7 o'clock comes, here is one chap who usually gets his supper direct from the hand of the President. His name is Fala, a three-year-old Scotty, and the president's only pet. Fala's quite an accomplished dog, and equally fond of his master. A rare and interesting glimpse into the human qualities of the man who is president of the United States.